against 21st-ranked St. John's. Beat the Red Storm with Eric Barkley back in the lineup, and Miami would not only share the Big East regular season championship with Syracuse, but also drop St. John's to a three seed in the Big East tournament. Eric Barkley, Barkley rather, the Red Storm's leading scorer back, greeted by shaking car keys from Miami fans. Off the inbounds, Miami pushes it ahead to Johnny Hemsley. So dangerous. 16 points for Hemsley, despite going 0 for 8 from three-point range. Miami down one. They were up one when St. John's. Nice passing to Bootsy Thornton, who finishes. 11 points for Thornton. St. John's up two after the free throw. Under 10 seconds left, Miami down two. Mario Big Bland rattling at home. We are tied at 62 and headed to overtime. St. John's up two. The pass down low to Elton Tyler. ET, 20 points, eight boards. Miami up one after the free throw. Later in OT, St. John's down three. Barkley taking the feet in the corner and likes the view. We're tied at 67. Barkley with 15 points. Under a minute left. Tied at 69. Bland. Anything but. Connecting again. Miami up two. Miami shot 46% from the field. One last chance for St. John's. Barkley to the hole. Gets rejected by Tyler. One of two blocks, but that block none bigger for Miami. They win by four despite going 0 for 13 from three-point range. Miami claims a share of the Big East regular season championship with Syracuse. Miami's first title since joining the Big East in 91 and the school's first title of any kind since 1965, said Kane stud Elton Tyler. I hope people start respecting us now. Big 10, number 12, Indiana at Wisconsin. Second half tied at 50 over a minute left. Maurice Linton getting his hard drive on. No floppy disk there. Career high 16 points, Wisconsin up two. Under 20 ticks left, Indiana down four. A.J. Guyton and Michael Lewis in the corner. Straight buries the three. Hoosiers trying to go 36 and one against Wisconsin the last 37 games. Bobby's geek. Two Badger free throws. Hoosiers down three. Under 10 seconds left. Dana five. Three to tie it. Uh-uh. Kirk Hasten tries to save it off of Roy Boone. Time expires. Or does it? Referees discuss. Was any time left on the clock? Take another look. The ball bounces off of Boone, then hits the ground with 1.2 seconds left. But the referees rule there was no time remaining. Bobby Knight blows a gasket. At least he didn't throw a chair, which proves he's mellowing. Wisconsin fans celebrate. After the game, Knight comes back on the court, still looking for answers, but the result would remain the same. Referee Ed Hightower said the buzzer sounded at about the same time that one official blew his whistle, making the play non-reviewable. Badgers win at 56-53. Mike Kelly, four free throws the final 25 seconds. He was also a prophet. When asked what he was thinking about standing at the foul line, he said, quote, I've never had the crowd rush the court. I was thinking, please let me make these so they can rush the court. He did, and they did. Murray State, Southeast Missouri. Remember last March, these two in the OVC final? Aubrey Reese winning it for Murray State, sending them to the NCAA tournament. Fast forward to Sunday. Reese now a senior and OVC player of the year. End of the first half. Antonio Short is a marksman. Put the Indians up one at the break. Second half. Reese, this was not last year, that's for sure. One of 18 from the field. There's an example. Isaac Spencer with a hustle in the putback. We're tied at 50. Southeast Missouri now up two with the ball. Mike Branson likes the visual. He had 21. The start of a 13-4 run to end the game, and the year was not kind to Reese this time. Just three points. Southeast Missouri advances to the NCAA tournament. Roderick Johnson finished with 14 points and eight boards, named tournament MVP. Said Reese, these are the type of games you have in your night. Mayors. Southeast Missouri holding the races to six points over the final eight and a half minutes. Southern Conference Championship, John Crest in the College of Charleston and against Appalachian State. Second half, 43 all. Rufus Leach, Shorty was slinging and packing. Before that, he'd been 0 for 6 from 3 land. He said, I knew I had to keep shooting. Mountaineers by 3. Appalachian State blowing up. Tyson Patterson, 5 foot 9 inch Southern Conference Player of the Year. Lost it, got it, silk. Next Mountaineer possession. Nowadays, everybody want to talk like they got something to say, but nothing comes out when they move their lips. Just a bunch of gibberish. They forgot about Leach. Rufus, 12 points in the second half. 16 for the game. Appalachian State up by 9. Next play, Jeff Bolt dismissed by Cedric Holmes. On the break, Patterson taking it to the house. 13 to 2 run by Appalachian State. Patterson 21 points and Michael Jordan's freshman roommate at Chapel Hill, Buzz Peterson. MJ and Buzz used to do that at Purdy's. Mountaineers going dancing. Johnson grabs the board. That's not all he does. JJ lets it fly. It's good from half court. 22 for JJ. Take another look. Johnson would say later he just threw it up and prayed it would go in. Well, what else can you do in that spot, huh? Second half, Arkansas up six. Brandon Dean shares. Alley oop to Teddy Gibson for the jam. Razorbacks up seven. Seven points for Gibson. Time running out. Dean pretty. 
Arkansas wins. Pulled a little Vince Carter there. Arkansas wins 64-55. Dean also with seven points. The Tigers four straight loss. The last three without the suspended Chris Porter. They're locked in as the Western Division runner-up, by the way, in the SEC. For Arkansas, it looks like this win earned Nolan Richardson's troops an NIT berth and a 14th straight year of postseason play. Missouri looking to sweep Kansas in the regular season for the first time in six years. Dueling exploding for the jam, but wait a minute. Baskets waved off, offensive foul on Dueling. Second half, 18 seconds left, Missouri by one. Kansas is Drew Gooden. It's gonna be fouled by Jeff Hafer. It's ruled an intentional foul. Gooden would convert the free throws. It was Kansas by three, seven seconds left, so Missouri has one last shot. Dueling, it's gonna have an off-balance three here. Not a chance. Clarence Gilbert, Gilbert the putback, and that's not enough because Nick Bradford would celebrate the victory for Kansas and they find a way. Today's fattest, number one seed Indiana State, number four seed Creighton in the Missouri Valley Conference semi. Second half, Indiana State down two. Nate Green drives stripped by Ben Walker of Creighton. And Walker is fouled. Creighton gets the upset. They win it 71-69. Number one seed Sienna versus five seed Niagara in the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference semis. 3.7 seconds left. Niagara down two. Demond Stewart looking for the win. Goes for three. Just short. Sienna holds on. Wins it 90 to 88. We stay in the match. For number two, Iona against number three seed, Fairfield. Second half, Fairfield down two, closing seconds. Jermaine Clark looking to tie it up, drives. First shot, no. Clark stripped for the board. Iona gets the ball. Jeff Ruin and Iona win it 76-72. Over to the Mid-American Conference, nine seed Miami of Ohio, one seed Bowling Green. Final seconds of regulation, Miami down three. Jason Grunkemeyer, 35, booyah! He had 11 points, we go to overtime. Final seconds in overtime, Bowling Green, Jason Jackson's alma mater down two. Dave Esterkamp throws up the three, goes off. Miami of Ohio wins it 58 -50. And so it goes the Gonzaga, Elite Eight darlings from last year's dance and an NCAA worthy regular season this year, fighting for the sure thing, the automatic berth that goes to the winner of the West Coast Conference Tournament. Zag's opponent, Pepperdine, bubblicious if they don't win. First half. And watch the arrow on Tommy Prince, not just because he has really large hair and a strong neck, but because he loses track of his man, Ryan Floyd, who cuts right behind him. And then the pretty reverse layup, his team up 38-34 at the half. Second half, Pepperdine down three. Craig Lewis, the steal. He has a headband, which means he's a good player. All the way for the layup, Pepperdine down just one. Late, late, late and a half. Zagat up by two, but Kelvin Gibbs misses. Nick Shepard's there to put it back. 58 all. We're going to overtime. In the extra session, the Zag Nuts put up the first eight points. Richie Fromm from three in more in overtime. Pepperdine climbs within three, but Tyzel Archie, no tie. Zags win at 69-65. It was the third time in 14 West Coast Conference Finals that the game went into overtime. Gonzaga becomes the first school to win back-to-back -back WCC tournament titles since Pepperdine in 91-92. Casey Calvary led all scores with 28. Arch Madness, Creighton, Southwest Missouri, finals of the MVC tournament. Creighton, second in the nation, three-point percentage. That's why Ryan Sears nails the deep three. Blue Jays hitting the boards, too. When they miss a three, they were 7 of 13 in the first half. Terrell Taylor is there to tip it in. Blue Jays up four, and this time, Kyle Korver is not going to miss. Drano, Creighton up 15 at the break. Second half, the Bears make a run because the boys from Springfield are tough. Ron Bruton is there. Bears close it to seven, but Creighton answers. Ryan Sears to Matt West. It's teamwork. West, that's three points. Jays push the lead to 14. Don Johnson wearing socks, and Creighton celebrate winning the Missouri Valley Championship 57-45. Same result as last year. As a matter of fact, the Blue Jays over the Bears. Coach Barry Henson, New York. First half, Iona 3, Kirksey undercut as he goes to the hoop. He was actually charged with the offensive foul. He's the conference player of the year. Had to be carried off the floor. He would return later. So Sienna took advantage of his absence. Marcus Fison. Fison! He had 17. Sienna. The Saints lead by two. Second half, Iona's other players step it up, including Jason Young. Pump fake. He's open for three. Drains it. He had 12. That put Iona up by seven. Then it's time for Evo Cresta to show us what he can do. It's not a party until Evo Cresta scores. Okay, it's a party. He had 14. Finally, Dyree Wilson with 27, and Iona 
is in the NCAAs, the final 84 to 80. The Gales do it basically without Kirksey, whose four points were 15 under his season average and 18 under his tournament average. The Saints certainly weren't shy from long range, hoisting up 32 threes. They made only 10. They also turned it over 17 times. Colonial Athletic Association finals. UNC Wilmington and Richmond. Richmond in white, down five. Greg Stevenson deflects it to himself. Did he get an assist? He had 12. Richmond down three. Second half, Danny Dahl to Brett Blizzard. A blizzard of threes for the Seahawks. He had 13 in the tourney. Seahawks by six. Second half, Stevenson makes the nice feed to Scott Unger. Unger with the three. Richmond within two. Second half, Danny Dahl gets the loose ball and, well, no, oh, why not? Clock's winding down. I'm going to say he did call bank. He had nine, and North Carolina Wilmington goes on to win the final 57-47. Coach Jerry Wainwright, we assume a hug and a kiss from Mrs. Coach Jerry Wainwright. For the Seahawks, their first ever trip to the tourney in 37 years after four previous losses in the conference final. UNC Wilmington did it with defense, holding the Spiders without a field goal for one 11 minute and 23 second stretch. More business. Central Connecticut and Robert Morris battling for the Northeast Conference's bid. Rick Mickens, he's the NEC Player of the Year, and that's why, because he can shoot off the glass. CCSU up 39-27. Robert Morris hanging tough. Brandon Walsh, he got good height on that shot. He had 13 points. Robert Morris down just three. But too much Mickens. In this case, is a good thing for CCSU. He had 17 points. His team up 54-41. And their coach, Howie Dickenman, he is well pleased. His team wins at 63-46. Some low angle. Semis of the MAC tourney. Miami and Ohio. Miami of Ohio Marshall. Jason Stewart. That was his four triple. That was his fifth. You know a guy's having a big night when you start at number four. He's got a degree in physics and engineering, so he knows launch angles, resistance, differential equations, that kind of stuff. I think we're up to number eight or nine there. In all, he would finish with 10. That's a lot, Jason Stewart. You are a man. 32 points and a MAC conference record with the 10 threes. Miami advances to the championship game 69-63. Stewart needed just 12 hoists to get his 10 trays. However, he was one of three on two-point shots and 0 for 2 from the line. Lesson then, go long. Miami's opposition in the final ball state. Cardinals, another tight fit. Glad to have Dwayne Clemens, career high 35. Sunbelt Conference semis, Western Kentucky and South Alabama. Under a minute left, South Alabama down by one. Virgil Stanescu gets the inbound, drives, lays it in, and he's fouled. South Alabama takes the lead, 61-59. Under 10 seconds left in the game, Western Kentucky down by three. Nation McPherson catches the ball, and he's fouled while attempting the three. He goes to the line shooting three. Here's his first. No. Here's his second. No. His last and final attempt, nah, that's a miss on purpose, but either way, Western Kentucky, the Hilltoppers, family lose feud. the game. Well, Richard Dawson's not available. Topping around with Southern Utah, and with seven seconds left in the half, Jeff Monaco shoots from deep, deep under cover. Thunderbirds by seven. Second half, Monaco on the defensive end with the SWAT. There your kangaroo hops. Look again, because we have a measuring device. He's wow. only 6'11". No, he's 5'11", okay. Later, Southern Utah up 68-52, and Monaco, he's cherry-picking. A career-high 35 points, Southern Utah wins at 72-54. He was 11 of 15 from the field, 5 of 6 from range.